hi everybody so this is going to be the last video on working memory hopefully uh, if not I'll make a follow-up video to it um, so this is this video is going to talk about the how how do we uh, improve our working memory how do we regain um, executive function so that working memory can supplant the constant invasive thoughts that you have about this douchebag or this douchebag ass <laughs> uh, that uh, you know did this to you or this goes for any trauma any sort of head trauma you may have um, any sort of brain injury uh, to the prefrontal cortex would uh, create a deficit in working memory. So in order to give your neurons a fighting chance of recalibrating, you have to do it through behavior. There's no other way. Um, I talk about supplements that you can take to dampen the stress response to lower cortisol levels, um, and that helps immensely in decreasing the brain fog, uh, giving your neurons the capacity to regenerate, um, and it helps you cognitively, it helps you in many ways. But unless you change your behavior, I found that there's very little that you can do in the long run um, in terms of replacing these memories with new ones. And that's part of the narcissistic abuse cycle. They want you to stay in this state of constantly thinking about their asses. And you don't want to do that. You want to put this, this experience on the periphery of your consciousness and be able to think about the things that you want to do, other people that come into your life that are healthier, and in order to do that, you need to improve your working memory, and you need to work on that every single day. It's almost like a muscle that's atrophied in you. So here are some tips on that. Um, two types of strategies are discussed here. General working memory strategies that can be applied uh, to students To students uh, with anxiety disorders and specific working memory strategies for students with generalized anxiety. You can modify them as appropriate for other students in your classroom. General strategies. Minimize distractions so working memory is not overwhelmed. Uh, break down information to reduce working memory processing. So this is what I mean, create smaller tasks out of larger tasks. Use learning tools and demonstrations to support working memory processing. Repeat information intermittently to boost working memory. Shorten activities to reduce the working memory load. Use visual representations to support working memory. Specific strategies. Reduce social anxiety to support working memory processing. Use social prompts to support verbal working memory. Set routines. Create realistic expectations. And one uh, method that you can use is chunking, um, and this is creating small tasks out of large ones. Uh, so when you plan your day, for example, you could create a to-do list. And when you write the to-do list, make what you have to do very, very oversimplified. So, for example, 
uh, brushing your teeth, putting on makeup, um, washing your hair, making your bed, biking to this destination, biking from this destination, reading this chapter, writing this chapter, um, making a fruit juice, eating such and such breakfast. The more specific you are with your tasks, the more probable that you will accomplish them. And what I've done is I've created like this small book where I write out my tasks for the day. And whenever I finish the small tasks, I put a line through them. Um, and over time, the working memory will come back online because now you're used to consolidating the day into small, small, small tasks. And it may be very boring to you in the beginning, and it may be very um, strange. It feels strange that you would have to write, that you have to brush your teeth. But that's how you retrain your brain to think in small, small pieces. Um, as opposed to catastrophic situations or maybe not being pr not being fully in the moment creates catastrophic situations over time for you so understand that this is part of your brain that has been damaged and that you need to actively uh, revive it in order to be more grounded in the present moment and in order to accomplish your future goals so your life is like a mosaic it's made out of small 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 pieces as opposed to a huge 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 big picture it's small 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 pieces that grow into a bigger picture if that makes sense so Think about chunking your time and thinking about dividing your time into small pieces. Thanks.